Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings. My name is Ahmad Shauki Izzah bin Ahmad Murad, a fourth year student from Human Resource Development in University of Technology Malaysia, Johor Bahru. So today, I will be presenting my final year project or thesis, which entitled The Relationship Between Working Environment and Job Performance Among Employees in Sungai Petani Kedah. Here are my content outlines that I will explain each of them in my presentation today, which consists of background of study until the conclusion. First of all, the background of the study shows that a pleasant working environment will motivate employees to work hard, which will boost employees' job performance. Al Omari and Okashe in 2017 stated that a work environment can be everything that surrounds the person and influence how he or she executes their tasks. Chandra Sekar in 2011 also supported that unsafe and uncomfortable work environment can affect employees' productivity and health. Leb Lebici in 2012 added that employees who are satisfied with their work environment can help the organization to reduce absenteeism, turnover rate, and employees' efficiency. As for the problem statements, the first one is the importance of working environment towards the job performance. As many organizations only wanted the employees to give their maximum performance, but does not provide sufficient or good working environment for the employees in the first place to perform their tasks. The factors of decreasing job performance among employees are also one of the problem statements in this study. This is because there might be organizations who have provided an implemented number of solutions, but only resulting in failure to increase employees' job performance. There are a total of three objectives for this study, which are to identify the level of working environment among employees in company A, to identify the level of job performance in company A, and to examine the relationship between working environment and job performance among employees in company A. For the literature review, Amin, Halim and Majid in 2017 stated that the working environment is a state where the employees are able to perform their jobs as best as possible and feel safe in their own working environment. Nanzushi in 2015 also added that working environments such as physical environmental factors, rewards, relationship with colleagues and work balance are able to influence employees to perform their job. So, according to Nanzushi, the working environment can be divided into four dimensions, which are physical environmental factors, rewards, relationships with colleagues, and work balance. As for the theories of working environment, there are two theories that were used to explain about the working environment, which are Frederick Herzberg two-factor theory and Maslow's hierarchy of needs theory. For the concept of job performance, Cookman et al. in 2011 defined the job performance as behaviors or actions that are relevant to the goals of the organization. Hamid and Hassan in 2015 also added that job performance can also be defined as the outcome or results of work achievement that are related to certain skills and abilities of an employee. To explain further on the job of performance, the Koopman's dimension of performance was used and it can be seen that Koopman divided the job performance into three dimensions, which are task performance, contextual performance, and adaptive performance. There were also past studies from past researchers that used the same variables which are working environment and job performance, and one of the research is by Mariam in 2019, which aimed to identify the relationship between the working environment and job performance among employees at several bank rakyat branches in Johor. The result of this study shows that there is significant relationship at a high level between the working environment and job performance. The research framework for the study involved four dimensions of working environment as the independent variable, while the job performance as the dependent variable. For the research methodology, quantitative research method was used as the research design for this study. In addition, the population sampling was also used by the researcher as the targeted respondent's population is small, and the researcher also did not have full access to all of the company's branches. Questionnaires that was well established for both working environment and job performance are used as the main source of collecting data. As for the data collection procedure, a permission letter from the faculty was sent to the representative from HR department of company A and all of the data were analyzed by using the statistical package for social science SPSS version 26. As shown in the table, both objective 1 and 2 in the study were analyzed by using the descriptive analysis 
which will show the mean, frequency and percentage of each item. And as for the third objective, inferential statistic, which is payment correlation, was used to examine the relationship between the working environment and job performance. Moving on to the findings for demographic analysis, the data recorded that most of the respondents were male, which represents 60% of total respondents. Other than that, majority of the respondents were aged from 21 to 30 years old, which is 56.3%, followed by 31 to 40 years old at 42.5%. Most of the respondents also have contributed 6 to 10 years of service, which represents 48.8% of the total respondents, followed by 11 to 15 years, 26.3%, and 1 to 5 years with 23.8%. Last but not least, the majority of the respondents, which is 57.5%, have current basic salary of RM2000 to RM2900, followed by RM3000 to RM3900 with 28.7%. The findings for the first objective showed that the overall mean score recorded for the working environment was 3.94 at a high level with physical environmental factors dimension scored the highest mean with 4.13 at a high level. On the other hand, the overall mean score for the job performance was 3.99 which is at a high level with Task performance dimension scored the highest mean with 4.13 at a high level. As for the third objective of the study, Spearman correlation was used and resulted to a very strong and significant relationship between the working environment and job performance among employees in Company A in Sungai Petani Kedah. Moving on to the discussions of the first objective. For the physical environmental factors, it can be assumed that this dimension is one of the important elements that need to be provided to improve employees' job performance. It also showed that working environment are able to influence employees' behaviour towards their job. For the second dimension of working environment, which is reward, the incentive and rewards that were fairly given to the employees are able to increase their job performance. As for the reward system, it is suggested to be continuously improved to fulfill the employee's satisfaction as well as increasing job performance. Other than that, the relationship with colleagues dimension also found that social support among colleagues have strong and significant impact towards job performance. This is because employees who receive good social support have higher chances to reduce stress and increase their job performance. And as for the last dimension, which is work balance, the employees agreed that their job had interfered with their time together with their family and friends. To fix this, work balance dimension should be emphasized by the organization as it will influence employees' emotions and behavior as well as their job performance. For the discussions of the second objective, task performance dimension recorded the highest mean score because the employees agreed that they have always maintained a high standard in performing their work. They also agreed that they always finished their work and tasks on time that were set by the supervisor. Next, the contextual performance dimension also showed that the employees agreed that they always offered to help their colleagues who are in need, and they added that by helping other employees, it would give satisfaction to themselves. And for the last dimension of job performance, which is adaptive performance, the employees also agreed that they are able to adapt to the changes that occurs in the organization demanded by the management. They also believe that they are always able to adapt and manage their team well towards the organizational changes from time to time. Last but not least, the findings from analysis on Objective 3 in the study showed that the working environment are able to positively influence the job performance. Bashir and Bula in 2017 supported by stating that the working environment have a positive and significant relationship towards the job performance among employees. And this means that the higher the level of working environment, the higher the level of job performance. As for the recommendations, the company and organization should provide more flexible working schedule for the employees as they will be able to manage well between their work and personal activities with their family and friends. Other than that, the organization should also learn and identify the employees' needs to make sure that the employees will perceive that the organization valued them as one of the valuable assets that the organization have. In addition, 
The upper management should also portray themselves as good examples for the employees, such as obeying the working hours, as it will make the employees follow the steps of the upper management and obey to the working hours provided by the organization as well. On the other hand, future researchers are recommended to expand more on the elements of working environment by involving more working environment dimensions in their study, as this study only involves four dimensions, which is physical environmental factors, reward, relationship with colleagues, and work balance. Other than that, the future researcher is also recommended to add interview method as it will help them to obtain more detailed and honest answer from the respondents. In conclusion, all of the three research objectives have been successfully achieved by providing better understanding about the findings which is the working environment were positively related and significant at a very strong relationship. In general, the results from the study are expected to help the organization in understanding the importance of providing a good, safe and comfortable working environment in order to trigger the employee's ability to produce optimum job performance. And with that, I thank you.